Welcome back, people. I hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. In today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will give you the jitters. Make sure you stay tuned till the very end. And yes, if you don't want to miss any of our videos, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we have new content. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first clip was uploaded to TikTok by a user known as The Willow Project. It begins with him laying in bed until he hears a strange noise that causes him to just get up and examine to make sure there's no obtrusive intruders. As soon as he checks, he starts to experience some truly terrifying things. You guys hear that? What the hell? Hello? Come on, it's not turning on. What the hell, dude? I'm getting enough of this shit. Seriously. That would make anyone who takes a look run for the hills. For some strange reason, no matter how many times the uploader tries to turn on the lights, nothing ever happens, leaving him completely perplexed as to what is heading on anyway, while the door handle looks to be turning on its own which must have been really frightening to witness in reality. In a subsequent video, the uploader adds that he started to lose sleep as a result of his growing fears of the activities taking place in his house, and that he has now taken to routinely checking his doors to ensure that none of the knobs are beginning to rattle. I want to show you guys that I'm actually alone in this. Oh shit. Yo, the lights! The light's like turning on and off, bro. The doorknob. I got I gotta show you guys I'm actually alone. Look at this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Look, look, look. I'm turning on the light. As soon as I walk in. Okay. Closing the door. Yo. He eventually observes something extremely unsettling happening behind him as he speaks to the camera and keeps on doing so. Then he appears to be looking around, but he eventually discovers nothing that would explain why he was experiencing such extreme fear in his own home. Although the uploader has no memory of this to this day, we can only assume that he has since relocated to a safer home without any ghosts. Number 14. This one's a two-part separate haunted house investigation video that was shot in Japan and published on YouTube on January 1st, 2021 by Omagatoki Film, a provider of Japanese horror entertainment. About 30 to 40 years ago, a family owned the home that the uploader in question is currently examining. All of the family appeared to vanish one day without a mark. Right now, the home's owner was looking to sell it. Even though the house was empty, the owner sensed an odd presence somewhere inside. All the doors must henceforth be closed after the channel owners open them and pass through them, it has been announced. Now that we have the background information out of the way, let's examine the two films. In one of the videos, the content producers are walking about a specific area in the house before they eventually unlock a door that brings them to a very horrifying revelation. After a few minutes, いや、別に何も変わったとこはない、変わってない。どう。ちょっと、A video that was captured by the new buyer while he was investigating the property starts to play, and we're also shown once again another horrifying piece of film that would further solidify how haunted this house actually is. <laughs> the 
the uploaders continue their study of this haunted mansion, which turned out to be even more haunted than their darkest thoughts could have ever imagined. This is the second half of their inquiry. A shocking sound can be heard from a distance at one point in the film, while the man recording is investigating a filthy, chaotic, and unsettling kitchen. This immediately makes him uneasy. <laughs> but perhaps the most terrifying discovery of the entire night is unquestionably what occurs next. When the man filming hears a doorbell ring, he turns around to discover something quite terrifying that will undoubtedly leave him nightmares for the remainder of his existence. In the end, the men wrap up their inquiry. And the camera pans, which probably was for the best, since there's no way of knowing what might have happened to the channel owners had they stayed any longer. Number 13. The following video comes from the YouTube channel Alberto Del Arco. He and his team visited a hospital that had been abandoned for a while and were there when rituals and other strange things were happening. It appeared for a moment that nothing intriguing would be captured as the entire crew got to work on their inquiry, but then they stumbled upon this. It starts with a voice that we can hear, followed by bizarre noises that seem like someone is toying with them, but it doesn't end there. Beto. Oye, Pedro. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué viste? Acabo de escuchar. Como un niño. ¿Un qué? Como un niño. ¿Un niño? Ahí, ahí. En ese espacio. ¿Allá? Oh. ¿Lo escuchaste o lo viste? Lo escuché demasiado cerca. Aquí, mira. ¿Qué es esto, güey? Está inundado. Es como un pantano. Mira. Volví a escucharlo el, el niño, ¿eh? Ya viste esto. Pero ahora acá. ¿Qué? ¿Qué hay allá? Wow, qué espacio. Oh. Vestidor mujeres. Oh. Hay que ver esto. Aquí esto. Mira, una pared. Uy, una atrás. Aguas atrás, aguas atrás. ¿Qué p*** con esto? Cuidado, cuidado. Chingada, chingada. A ver, corre, vamos para allá, vamos para allá, vamos para allá. Esto está bien loco, güey. Ahorita tenemos que venir aquí. Pero algo se movió y lo alcancé a ver. Me estoy cayendo. Cuidado, ¿qué fue, güey? ¿Qué fue? ¿Esta tabla cayó? Tengan cuidado con lo que está en el techo, sobre todo. ¿Quién sabe qué tanto haya debajo del agua, no? Estoy escuchando algo. ¿Qué oyes? Hola.
Hola. Buenas noches. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? No sé si estoy viendo mal o algo se está moviendo en el agua. ¿Neta? 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 No, ¿Dónde? 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 No. ¿Dónde, güey? ¿Dónde? 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 ¿Por dónde viene? Aquí derecho, aquí derecho. No, sí, veo, sí, no, sí, veo, sí, no sí, veo, no sí, veo, sí, no sí, veo, sí, no sí, veo, no veo. Más por allá, más por allá. ¿No veo ahí? Sí. Se está moviendo el agua, eh. No sé, güey, pero sí hay ruidos. Como lamentos, algo raro. Me está viendo la espalda, güey. Ah, oh, creo que es de la tensión. ¿Sí lo registran? ¡Hola! Es imposible atravesar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué? ¿Cuál rampa? Ahí, ahí, güey. ¿Qué se movió? ¿Lo traes? ¿Lo tienes en tu cámara? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? ¿Qué era? ¿Te cae? Yo no había nadie, güey. Justo aquí, justo aquí. Ok, vamos a ver si tenemos suerte. A ver si se captó algo. ¿Qué, güey? No, 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 veo, no veo por dónde, güey. A menos por aquí no hay forma. ¿Hola? Y sigue escuchando. El agua, el agua. Algo pasó allá. Algo pasó allá. Siento que se movió. Algo cayó, algo pasó. Uy, ¿siguen oyendo el grito ese? Sí, güey. No sé ni siquiera de dónde venga. ¡Hola! ¿Hay alguien? ¿Necesitas ayuda? ¿Qué, güey? Yo no, no vi nada. A dark figure can be seen moving in the room after the investigators have heard something they can't explain for a long time. Then they examine this location. And this is when we notice anything new. The head is leaving the body swiftly, and the only glimpse we get of the third ghost, or could be a homeless person, I guess, is for a brief moment of a woman with long hair. You be the judge as to whether or not it was a real ghost. Number 12. Dog breeder John Lowe. 82, had a mental breakdown in 2014. It happened one night. His 66-year-old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter Lucy were brutally murdered by him in a rage-filled situation at his family's Surrey, England home. Just before she passed away, Lucy managed to call the police, and John Lowe was soon taken into custody for his crimes. The country was stunned by the unexpected, odd, and violent act. And since the tragedy, the mansion has been virtually deserted. Simon, a supernatural investigator from the YouTube channel Ghost Riders, visited the location of what the neighborhood now refers to as the John Lowe Murder House. His goal was to try and get in touch with the victim's ghosts, who are thought to still inhabit the scene of the crime. Using his spirit box, they attempt to get in touch with Christine and her daughter Lucy with the help of YouTube ghost hunters who specialize in proving demons. They receive some incredibly odd and uncannily direct responses to their inquiries. The startling spirit box response appeared to indicate that Lucy and her mother might be attempting to communicate with supernatural investigators. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy, Whoa, that was, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? However, things only get wilder when Olivia from the Demon's Proving Team professes to feel somebody brushing her back. Did you see it? Just before Olivia saying something gripped her by the back. 
Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a car on the road? I she just grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I, swear like, I didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my he pocket. Was in his pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. None of the investigators even saw the odd light or mist, which is a small light surrounded by a peculiar translucent mist that appears to rise upwards and far away from her. Could it be a car on the road? I she just grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Ever since Simon posted the clip to the Ghost Rider's YouTube channel, astute viewers immediately noticed the very odd phenomena. This clip is one of the more compelling paranormal pieces of footage that we've seen because being able to fake this mist and time it flawlessly, and then the following very genuine response from Olivia just before she says her back is touched. Well, I mean, to me, that just seems really hard to falsify, but what do you think? Number 11. Damon Maslenikov, a YouTuber, has heard numerous spooky tales from families who once lived in Akramara, as well as spooky tales from curious tourists that venture into the old town, where many individuals claim to have countered ghosts. There have been hundreds of accounts of strange shadow forms that are supposed to haunt the ancient abandoned houses, as well as the apparition of an elderly man wandering the countryside. Even though Edema is a skeptic, he's still a little spooked out to be by himself in the abandoned, scary ghost town as he begins his exploration. Things start to get a little strange. The YouTuber is horrified when he sees a shadow figure that appears to dunk and then scurry away swiftly. He looks both inside and outside, but whatever it was is simply gone. The Russian explorer moves on to the next apartment building after this terrifying encounter, but things don't turn out well. Dima wants to give up on this particular building because he deems it too unsafe to enter, but the same thing occurs when he gets towards another residence further into the deserted town. Obviously, this has nothing to do with the paranormal, but viewers of Dima's YouTube channel saw something in the same segment of the film that even Dima himself didn't catch. What? Лично бы я, если увидел подобное, я бы это с ума сошел, потому что, ну, это... Это, блядь, откуда было? Это... Это... Это что, блядь, было сейчас? Там что-то двинулось, ребят. Там что-то пробежало. Здесь кто-нибудь есть? Блин, здесь кто-то есть. Не могло показаться, но сто процентов кто-то был. Где 
Серому. Так, это не могло мне показаться сто процентов. Вот за этим углом было нечто примерно высотой по колено тире по пояс мне. Она ушла за эту стенку и пропала, но она вряд ли вышла бы через это окно, потому что здесь слишком много веток, и я бы услышал, как они ломаются. A cow comes from one of the vacant apartment buildings, giving the unwary explorer a nice shock. Even after all of this, Dima is still skeptical and thinks everything he saw can be described. As he rolls around to demonstrate a number of the tall, uninhabited apartment complexes, he captures something on camera that is horrifyingly creepy. Did you see it? Ёб твою мать! Что вы понимали? Вот эта херня должна была сейчас лететь в меня. Так, наша задача сейчас дойти до самого центра, осмотреться и найти уже необходимое мне здание для следующего эксперимента. Просто посмотрите. Раз здание. Два здания. Мы сейчас с вами находимся в центре настоящего города призрака. Вот прямо в этой точке. Это не одно какое-то здание, это просто десятки зданий в одном месте. И все это забро. A shadow figure can be observed standing still in the window of one of the vacant old apartment buildings. What do you believe? However, Dima capture the eerie ghost town's purportedly haunted shadow figures? Or did Dima record something else as usual? Number 10. The events of this spooky story after that essentially cover more than two years. High Five Studios is a company that creates five different renowned YouTube channels. In premature 2018, High Five Studios relocated to a brand new office building in Southern California. However, High Five Studios owner and CEO Matthias wasn't clearly cognizant of the creepy collective memory of the property at the time they shifted in. Matthias is a thorough agnostic when it comes to anything paranormal, it should be stated. Um, before we moved in here, they asked, okay, are you guys okay with possible rumor that there's ghosts here? And I said, what are you talking about? Because a long time ago, apparently the previous tenants passed away here. So you know my stance. I don't think there are ghosts around here. I think there's an explanation for everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, stop. Matt, why are you trying Why are you trying to troll us right now? That was not me. This Sorry, this is a uh, 302. I'm not seeing any. Dude, so There's no fun. movement it's whatsoever. Movement. There's no movement. Dude! Dude, stop. No, you. I just got chilled. You didn't do that? How could I do that? I wasn't there. Dog, I'm stressing right now. We gotta get the heck out of that here. That was right? while we were downstairs. Yeah, that was the noise we heard. That was the noise we just heard. Yeah. Wait, wait, replay that. Replay that. Replay that. That paint roller. It's like a paint roller. Dude, how did it flip that way? Oh, how does it? Yeah, I'm getting like However, odd things start to happen around the High Five offices right away. Things quickly become increasingly odd to the point where even the crew at the High Five studio begins to feel a little uneasy. Matthias, though, is steadfastly adamant that nothing even faintly strange is taking place. Is strange. In June of 2018, more than two years ago, 
all of the videos you just watched were uploaded to YouTube. In spite of numerous requests from the fans over the years, Matthias and the High Five Studio crew decided to conduct an overnight ghost hunt in their building this month. Regretfully, there had never been a paranormal investigation of High Five Studios before. Things start to get quite strange once they barricade themselves inside for the night. Oh, we're going to make a shadow. Was it your shadow? No, and it was approaching the door. <laughs> was, it, no. was it your shadow? For real? No, I thought it was, but I was approaching the door and it tried to open the door. The shadow Wait, tried what? to open yes. the door? Okay, I'm, I'm getting weirded out. Hannah, a member of the High Five team, alleges that she witnessed a menacing shadow figure attempting to open one of the doors. When they review the footage of the incident some hours later, they are all horrified by what they discover. Matthias puts up a laser grid to detect movement and directs the camera towards the wall where Hannah saw the shadowy ghost. Oh, what the heck? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. They capture something genuinely terrifying on camera. We have, we have the door shut. No, 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 I can't, I can't the, the watch it again. The warping like crazy, and then and this then, door shuts. No, no. On camera, something appears to pass directly through their laser grid. It needs to be noticed again that this is the same spot where Hannah first encountered the shadow figure. Firstly, one door slams shut, then the laser lines blur, and finally the second door smashes shut. And armed with that proof, they decide to call it a quits on their nocturnal investigation and leave immediately. Matt, said. I don't want to stay overnight. <laughs> well, let's pack it up and let's pack it up and go. Now that two years have passed, it would appear that there is now some evidence that the High Five Studios may be possessed. However, what makes this video even more intriguing is that the CEO, Matthias, still simply claims, nope. I'm not going to go out here on a limb and say, yeah, High Five Studios is haunted. <laughs> There's a realistic explanation. There always is. I'm not going to go out here on a limb and say, yeah, High Five Studios is haunted. There's a realistic explanation. There always is. As a result, you decide if it was simply denial or if everything was a coincidence and it's just some bizarre camera bug. Number nine. This video was posted by well-known Japanese paranormal investigators Gakan, Yasuke, and Daikon from the channel on YouTube Clip Store. They visited a spot at the Hiroshima province of Japan that is reputed to be particularly cursed. There's a mysterious tall western-style ruin amid these mountains that somewhat resembles a medieval castle. Nobody has any idea as to why this peculiar building was constructed or why it was left in utter disrepair. Strange tales about a ghostly woman in a black cape are circulated by residents and inquisitive tourists. According to these tales, the woman in the cape resembles a witch. When the clip store crew first went outside to do their inquiry, they are in amazement of the exterior's peculiar western design. At that point, videographer Dai Khan observed something incredibly weird. <laughs> Although it's a little difficult to make out, Daikon's camera just barely manages to record what seems to be someone hastily rushing away from the edge of the roof, almost like someone or something is monitoring them from the above. The group breaks up as each member of the team wants to investigate one of the three floors of the abandoned building. On the second floor, Investigator Yasuke finds an old television and settles in to observe and wait to see if he encounters anything remotely unexplainable. What happens next is incredibly frightening. Yasuke 
Yasuke alleges that maybe something pushed forcefully against his shoulder, nearly throwing him to the ground. He calls his team members, hurries up to the staircase, and then to his surprise sees something peeking over Daikon's shoulders on the upper floor. Yasuki yells to alarm him and whatever it was just vanished into thin air. Might this be the apparition of the woman who is said by locals to have been seen inside the abandoned building? Paranormal investigators may have managed to gather paranormal proof in this case. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments section. Number 8 This next video was uploaded by the Signs and Signals channel on YouTube. It's a fast expanding paranormal research channel on YouTube. The gang ventures to the home that knocks in this specific upload, which shockingly appears to be in reasonable condition given the circumstances. The location is said to be haunted. However, this does not negate the fact that the house is spooky, as you'll soon discover. For the rest of the film, we follow the crew as they make their way around the house, checking each room as they go. They search for a bit and don't seem to locate anything, so they finally decide to use a dipper box to try and communicate with any possible ghosts in the house. Sure fact. What the f dude? Hey, where is that coming from? That's from? Is that from upstairs or? I think it's coming from the attic. Did you? Dude, the closet door's closed. I didn't close the closet. Are you sure you didn't close I that didn't closet? I didn't close the closet. I swear I didn't close the closet. You're f***ing with What the f***, dude? Dude is spinning, man. How did that thing come up there and down there and not like falling into pieces? Dude, what the f***, man? How did, I didn't even know they didn't play music. Man, you crazy for going in there. Bro, so, we can't just run from this shit. People give us so much for this. I mean, it is pretty cool. <sighs> I mean, that's pretty cool and all for a fine, yeah, cool, but not cool at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It really doesn't take long for situations to start happening as the group proceeds to hear this eerie noise nearby. As you can clearly see, the toy box was the cause of the unsettling noise they'd been hearing, but it's evident that the key mystery is exactly how this music box began playing seemingly by itself. It should go without saying that music boxes are incapable of doing that. Thus, someone or something had to have been injured before fleeing. Intriguingly, the same music box, though in a different location, could be seen in the video, about the five and a half minute mark. Despite the fact that this time the crew is certainly getting progressively more terrified, they continue with their inquiry, which turns out to be a mistake because they soon come into contact with something horrific. Yeah, look all the that thing turn <laughs> Straight up, bro. That's some, I ain't messing with you. Look all the that thing turn Although they weren't aware of it at the time of the footage, you can make out what appears to be a bizarre shadow-like entity hiding in the shadows, almost as if it were waiting for its next prey, directly behind one of the men. It's only a good thing that the employees of Signs and Signals were able to escape shortly after because who knows what kind of horrific things would have occurred to them. Number 7 the channel Rodox has a different video, who ventured on their own to a school that is said to be haunted and where spirits have been sighted. Nothing occurred for a few minutes after he entered and began the investigation until he walked into the bathroom and captured this. We catch a glimpse of a woman's ominous. É loucura mesmo, né? Oi. Oi. Tem alguém aqui comigo? No banheiro. No banheiro. Prestem bem atenção no incrível espírito que irá aparecer na janela do banheiro. A imagem é impressionante e dá calafrios. No momento em que eu entro e viro a câmera para o fundo do banheiro, lá na janela, do lado de fora, está ela, o espírito de uma mulher. É impressionante a imagem. 
Eu coloquei em câmera lenta para que pudéssemos observar com claridade e também fiz um print onde aumentei a imagem e coloquei um filtro. Dá para ver o rosto da mulher perfeitamente. Novamente, é impressionante a imagem. Eu já estava pressentindo o espírito de uma mulher me acompanhando e depois no hipercontato se confirmou. Assista este vídeo até o final e também a continuação dele. Temos manifestações impressionantes, evidências irrefutáveis da presença espiritual desta mulher. Tem alguém? Fuzzy Visage is staring at the detective at one point. Later, Rodox emerges from the bathroom and captures something equally terrible. Tem? Quem tá aqui? As soon as he steps inside one of the classrooms, he notices something startling. On the right side, where a large shadow figure should have been standing moments earlier, is now there. Is this the actual spirits who were caught on camera stalking this school, or is there a far easier explanation? Number 6 Another video from the KBC Cajadores de Fantasmas is presented here. This team of paranormal investigators captured a horrifying moment while performing one of their investigations inside a purportedly haunted property. Mano, que susto, cara! Puta, que susto, parceiro! O que que tinha? Gente? Joga a coisa atrás dele, irmão! Que susto, gente! Tá lá vendo o que tá ali dentro? Não tem nada, irmão! Puta que pariu, parceiro! Que susto, cara! Tinha um negócio atrás de você, Joe! Credo, mano! Meu Deus do céu, mano! Tinha um negócio atrás de você, cara! Caralho, mano! Uma pessoa, mano! Pegou certinho a cabeça atrás dele, cara! Nossa, irmão! Meu Deus! Puta, segura essa porra aqui, cara! Caceta, mano! Mano, pega água pra mim, por favor. Mano, que susto, cara. A terrible enigmatic apparition suddenly appeared behind his friend's back and stared at him, startling one of the investigators who had been using a thermal imaging camera to inspect another room. Was it a genuine ghost that was photographed, or was it just something clever? Number five. The next video is from the YouTube channel. Andre DMS official, who opted to visit the abandoned settlement all by himself, which is featured in the following recording. Additionally, he made the decision to broadcast the entirety of exploring activities, but he elected to record this while traveling. Hola, mi hermana, sí. Esto ada yang di depan, ada yang minta lontong. Oh! 
kolamnya gini amat ya cuy ya anjir kunti kiri kiri mana astagfirullahaladzim 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 Bener, cu, bener, ada kunti ada kunti ada kunti iya 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 ya, berdiri di sana depan WC toilet at one instance he captures a glimpse of a woman who frequently wanders the woods at odd hours of the night amongst the trees then when he returns to this original location he's able to take a picture of a woman who appears for a little period before once again dissipating this time he's able to capture a closer range image of the ghost but <laughs> di depan pintu persis toilet Assalamualaikum Hih. Allah wakbar Eh hey, Itu Eh hey. Ya Allah Eh hey. Eh hey. Siapa itu 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 Lihat, masuk toilet, M -m 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 masuk, itu. Just like the last, the apparition vanishes into thin air. Please let me know in the comments below whether it was the true ghost that haunts this location or something else. Number four. The following little video comes from the YouTube channel Mackie and Amanda, who visited the eerie Stanley Hotel with Sam and Colby. They were able to capture anything noteworthy as soon as they began to record the intro. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky Boos. In the left window, which appears only in this window, something odd suddenly appeared as the YouTubers were discussing. Does this mean that it's supernatural in nature or simply human error? Number three. The following video, which is from Japan, appears to reveal something really unpleasant and will potentially prevent you from acquiring the best sleep tonight. Despite the fact that many people find it challenging to understand what's being said in the video owing to the different tongue. In the footage, two individuals can be seen poking about an abandoned home, possibly looking for paranormal activity. Due to the use of night vision, the video in question is somewhat fuzzy. However, if you pay sufficient attention at the 55 second mark, you may see something incredibly terrifying that will give you the shivers. <laughs> Did you see it? If you focus your gaze, you should really be able to make out what appears to be some black hair going away from the chair. Even though it's a minor thing, sometimes it's the little events that stick with you till death. And they're the most terrible things you'll ever experience. Number two. This team from the well known Pakistani ghost hunting channel, Wo Kiatha, examines a farmhouse that is rumored to be inhabited by a ghost or a demon. They detect a strange noise coming from one of the empty rooms as they continue their investigation. <laughs> Oh, 
इस रूम से तो नहीं ना अभी तक कुछ हुआ पता नहीं इस रूम में क्या आवाज आ रही है ये रूम नहीं है इसको देखिए तो शहरी में गोली गई When they look at the footage from his phone, one of the explorers claims to have seen something hiding in the corner of this room. But after they mustered up the courage to explore the space, then things start to get seriously bizarre. भी नहीं है यार इसे मैं बैठी हुई थी इसी जगह पे वहां से देखिए यहाँ पर कौन है बिल्कुल इस जगह पे छोटा सा था उसका कांध यार ऐसे ऐसे नीचे बैठी हो ना as if something is attempting to trap them inside the room when the investigator watches their tape of the incident back they discover something that chills them <laughs> यार उस कॉर्नर में वहाँ से जो जगह के लिए Something forcefully shoves open the door, slamming it straight into the investigator's arm. So, is it a sophisticated fake, or did the crew actually manage to capture a real ghost or demon on camera? Number one. The reportedly haunted Hillsboro Old Ice House in Ohio is the subject of an investigation by brothers Kirk and Forrest Rogers on the YouTube channel Forgotten Soul. The structure, which was constructed in 1900, is considered to be a hotspot for paranormal phenomena. The forgotten soul seekers quickly start to sense that they're not alone and that something or somebody wants to be heard. A loud knock is heard coming from the walls of one of the dim rooms, frightening Forrest. But they're unaware that they have recorded something even more strange. They are astonished to discover what they captured on camera as they left the toilet of the old building when they review their film later. Uh, I made a film. Went through it. Did you catch it? When Kirk Rogers moves his camera to the left and snaps a terrifying image of what appears to be an elderly man in spectacles, the boys claim that they have no idea who the figure might be and that they weren't even aware of it until they subsequently watched the video again. So you determine if it's a ghost that was captured on camera. And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And hit that notification bell. This has been the Haunter, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep it creepy.